on ESPN at noon. Southern California, their starting lineup. This is a team that loves to hit home runs, and they came up big uh, against Nevada, the team from Las Vegas yesterday. Eight runs on seven hits, middle part of the order, doing the damage, specifically Grant Hayes. But they have plenty of pop at the top, and Navarro is a spark plug leading off and playing right field today. Right-hander Tayton Plew, big Dodgers fan. He throws right-handed, bats left-handed. Three-sport kid, football, basketball, and baseball. This Utah team has played one game here. A loss to Hawaii in run rule fashion in their first game. Advancing via forfeit as Arizona came down with a positive COVID test and they had to leave the tournament. But Utah with an opportunity here against a really good Southern California team as you look at the Torrance Little League cutouts. Great setting for baseball here at Al Houghton Stadium. It's been a fun week. As the Little League World Series is right around the corner, but a champion needs to be crowned here, and two of the teams will head to Williamsport, PA. Our home plate umpire, Jason Field. And an equipment issue with the catcher. Dagan Soderquist, he's got the mask on, and we're ready to go. Xavier Navarro, who pitched yesterday in their victory, playing the outfield today. And the first offering from Plu is outside for ball one. Xavier had a single yesterday. Count now 2 0. Small in stature, but swings a big bat, and he's been steady in the field as well. A speed pitch misses, and the count runs to 3 0. Navarro just 4 foot 11, 85 pounds. Big Fernando Tatis Jr. fan. There's a strike on the corner, 3 and 1. These kids are so active in sports other than just baseball. X plays basketball as well as flag football. Hits that one hard to center. Dixon is over there and he makes the catch one down. Look at Casey Dixon who pitched in their first game against Hawaii. Showing a good glove out there in center field. Here's Gibby. Gibson Turner, key piece to the puzzle for their lineup, had an RBI double in their victory against Nevada. Hits it hard into the gap in right center field. That's going to drop and run to the fence. Gibby on his way to second. He's in there with a double. Sets an example for the rest of these kids with his bat. He's also the ace of the staff. Found the gap there. And an early scoring opportunity for the Torrance Little Leaguers. Brings up Skyler Vincent, the center fielder. Vincent is one of the key reasons why they're in this spot with that victory against Nevada. He was playing center field yesterday. And originally wanted Grant Hayes to pitch on the mound, but opted to go to Vincent, and he became a big reliever and picked up the save in that one. There's a throw to first. It's an errant throw. Turner's going to come around and score, and Vincent into second safely. 1-0 Southern California. Sherratt's throw off the mark. And Vincent takes the extra base. Now the cleanup hitter, Andrew Nuruki. Sports Little Leaguers were shut out in their first game by Arizona. Bouncing back with an 8-6 win in nine innings last night over the Summerlin South Little Leaguers from Las Vegas. 
the family, family of Andrew Naruki. Cheering him on, an RBI opportunity here. Two and one now. Southern California just ran into a buzzsaw, and that was Xander McCray for Arizona, who struck out 10 in five innings. They couldn't solve him, but they bounced back big time yesterday with their offense. And that's driven into the gap in right center field, and it's going to score another run. Vincent comes around and scores. RBI double for Naruki. Great start for Torrance. Naruki with his second hit in San Bernardino. He reached three times via the walk yesterday, and they're off and rolling. And now another one of the heroes from last night, Grant Hayes at the plate. Side. Hayes, a power guy. He hit two home runs in one game during the regular season, but his opposite field shot in extra frames gave them the lead last night. And he drives that one into right center. That's a base hit. Another RBI. Naruki scores. It's 3 0. The thing that is impressed with Hayes is he's taking the ball to the opposite field. His two-run home run last night over the right center field fence. Goes with the pitch there and drives it. Three runs on three hits now. And here's Brandon Perez. And that skips away from the catcher, Soderquist. And Hayes will end up at second base. So after a fly ball out, Blue has given up three hits. A batter reaching via the air as well. This is Brandon Perez at the plate. The 2-0 offering. Strike three and one. Blue has dreams of being a professional athlete, but he'd also like to be an athletic director at a college or university somewhere. Needs a strike here. Three one. Pulled down the right field line and curling foul. Let's look at the Brandon Perez family. Making the short trip from Torrance, about 80 miles away. Breaking pitch, misses outside, Perez is on. First walk given up by Tate and Blue. Southern California trying to get to the West Region semifinals and date with either Northern California or Hawaii, and they're off to a great start here, up 3-0. Zero. You're better than that, okay? Go right at him. You guys make plays for him. Let's go. JP DeWitt also coaches the Pine View High School team in that area in Washington. Pulls it, foul. Third base side. Hayes has been fun to watch in the middle part of the order, and they 
are a team that makes no secret about the fact they love to hit dingers. They played from behind on many occasions this year. In fact, their state championship run, they won seven games in eight days after an opening round loss. They have the lead here off to a good start in the first inning. Fastball misses one and two. Utah as well, they rallied from down two runs down to the final strike and won the state championship there. In that state run, one, two, is foul back. Already a big inning, Southern California looking for more. One, two, fastball, just misses. off that one to stay alive. Christian, a big fan of the Dodgers. Mookie Betts, eighth pitch of the AB coming up here. 29th pitch for Plu. Good rip there, still two and two. Scrappy Utah team, according to their manager, J.P. DeWitt. He says he's willing to bet they're the smallest team size-wise here in San Bernardino. They're battlers out there. Here's the 2-2. Over the head of the pitcher, past the second baseman into center field. Hayes is going to hold on. Good throw back to the infield from Dixon, the center fielder, but the bases are loaded with one down. Didn't hit it hard, but that had enough to get through the infield. Passed Hunt, the second baseman, who tried to backhand it. Here's Dyson Miyaki. High pop fly, shallow center field. Three defenders there. It's caught by Dixon, tagging up his Hayes, and he scores. Standing up, throw to third. In time, that'll end the inning. A run does come across. Miyaki credit with the RBI on the sacrifice fly. Four runs for Southern California. We head to the bottom of the first in San Bernardino. A right-hander for Southern California in Dyson Miyaki. This is his first appearance on the mound. He has also played third base and outfield this season. Yaki, a fan, fan of Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers. And he says if he wins the lottery, he would spend it on baseball gloves. He's got a good one right there. Ryan DeWitt to lead it off in the first offering in there for strike one. DeWitt, four foot seven, 70 pounds, one of three brothers. Good rip at that one from 24. Big fan of Freddie Freeman and the Braves. Space Jam, his favorite movie. That was that one at the plate. Here's Ryan's mom looking on. Short drive from Southern Utah down to San Bernardino. Hold the third. Chavez in time. Back to high corner for number 20, and that brings up Dagan Soderquist, the catcher. Where catchers are special players here at the West Region, putting in a lot of hard work in the heat. This is one of those kids. Dagan also from a big family, one of five. 
for this Utah team. He's the youngest on the team, 11 years old. His highlight this season hitting his first home run. Ooh, and inside, did it hit him? It did not, did a good job getting away from that one. Very close. Ball. There's ball four. Utah has their first base runner. And it brings up their power hitter, Porter Campbell. Campbell unique in that he bats right-handed, throws left-handed. He was key in their state title run. He earned the save in the championship game. And he has a tie, as you look at Mom, he has a tie to Major League Baseball. His great uh, uncle Jim Gott pitched 14 years in the majors. Hits it towards Chavez at third, flips to second. Got him. Mora got the foot down, and they get the lead runner, two away. Chavez setting himself, and that back foot, that right foot on the back part of the bag to get out number two. Good job by Mora. Raiden Hunt now with two out and one on. See Hunt going after that first pitch. That's kind of his thing. He is very aggressive at the plate. And second pitch swinging, hard hit grounder, Turner, and that'll end the inning. A walk, a runner stranded. One inning complete from Al Houghton Stadium. Four nothing towards Little Leaguers in front. Fan of Javi Baez and his approach to the game. Curveball swung on, grounder to DeWitt at short. Throw to first, in time, nice play. Ryan DeWitt. Textbook over there to get out number one. Let's go, Simonio! Let's go, 6 6 Now the top of the order. It's Xavier Navarro. Fight out to center field, first time up there. The Southern California bunch has a superstition. Actually, they have a couple of them. Number one, don't cut your hair. And there's a bouncing ball to second. Hunt has it, and he throws out Navarro, two down. Number one, don't cut your hair. Number two, or wash your pants. But uh, they have played really good baseball the last 24 hours after losing a tough one, a heartbreaker to Arizona in their first game. And a quick turnaround from finishing off that nine inning game a day ago. Here's Gibson Turner. Gibson's had the hot bat. Single in game one, double against Nevada in game two, double already today. Fastball's a strike two and one. Three balls and a strike. Hitters count here for a guy that has been one of their key pieces this season in the lineup with that bat. Waits on it, drives it to left. Christensen looking up. It is off the fence. Turner's in there, he's got a second double. Three doubles in West Region play now for Gibson Turner. Let's go. 
And that was an off-speed pitch that he waited on, sat on that back foot and gave it a ride. Now Skyler Vincent. Big cut right there. Skyler can swing it. He had three home runs during the state tournament. Dream job, fireman, or baseball player. Off speed pitch has popped up. Pitcher calling for it. And Blue makes the catch in the inning. So a double by Turner, but a runner stranded. Inning and a half complete here. West Region elimination game, 4 0 Southern California. Williamsport, PA, in the 2021 World Series around the corner. Bottom of the second inning, Southern California leading Utah 4-0. Season on the line for these two. Ryder Christensen leading things off the left fielder against Dyson Miyake. Inside for ball one. Christensen's older brother, McCord, played here in 2019 at the Little League West region. And he is a smart kid. He can speak Mandarin as well as English. Big cut right there. Two and two. Miyaki with a two two. That's foul back. Ryder just 11 years old. Big fan of Bryce Harper. Count runs full. So California getting four runs in the first inning on five hits. Utah trying to break through here. Middle part of their order. And that's ball four. Christensen's on. Second walk given up by Miyake. Want to see some girls with game? Tune in to the excitement of the Little League Softball World Series, August 11th through the 18th. Visit littleleaguesoftball.org for great content, information, and about starting a softball league and more. We did a great job here with the Little League Softball West region. Change around the infield for baseball, putting the grass in. Here's Jace Dutson. Dutson's highlight this season, a two-run triple. And a big cut there. Fan of the Utah Utes, and he's wearing those University of Utah colors right now. Chase that one, and a strikeout for Miyake. That's his first. After that one, off the plate. Rich Sherratt now, the third baseman. Ridge also had an older brother play here. Ryder was here in 2019. Keeping the family tradition going, the youngest of four kids. And he falls behind in the count now, one and two. Miyaki's a quick worker. Yeah. 
Strike three call, got him. Looking inside corner, back-to-back -back K's for Miyaki. He went outside to get the previous hitter on a strikeout. Goes inside here, and that brings up Kaysen Dixon. Dixon had their only hit in the loss to Hawaii in their first game. It was a single. He was their pitcher playing center field for this one. Ball's behind 0-2. One and two. It's Utah Little League team from Washington County, one of the fastest growing counties in the nation. Good weather down there, on golf courses. Good baseball. That one just missed. Miyaki wanted it, didn't get it. Two and two. One, though, swing and a miss, and he strikes out three in a row to end the inning. Setting for baseball. First offering is a fastball on the corner. Naruki with an opposite field double in the first, scored a run. Breaking pitch, ground ball to the shortstop, DeWitt. Not in time. Naruki was speeding down the line there, and he beats out an infield single. A nice play by DeWitt. The throw was a good one, but the long strider beating out the throw. Now Grant Hayes. First pitch drives it to right. It could be out of here. It is. with his second two-run homer. He hit one in extra innings last night to give them an advantage against Nevada before they finally pulled off the win. He goes opposite field again with a two-run shot. <laughs> and the smile there from number zero. That is his second two-home run game this season. And it makes it 6 nothing, and Utah's going to make a pitching change now. Four in the first, two more here in the third, and a pitching change at Al Houghton Stadium. Plew will head to left field, and they're going to go to a left-hander here. Seven hits for Southern California. And we'll take a break. We're back with a new pitcher with Southern California extending their lead. Left-hander Ryder Christiansen will get the call here. The 
11-year-old comes in from left field as Plue will switch positions with him. 6-0 game, Southern California in front after a two-run homer off the bat of Grant Hayes. Ryder has played some outfield. He's pitched and played first base, being a lefty this season. And we're going to have a uh, pitch, pinch hitter come in for Southern California as well. It's Kaishu Harrison getting the call, hitting for Brandon Perez. Again, mandatory play. You have 13 or more players. You must bat once, 12 or fewer. You must bat once and play a minimum of six straight defensive outs. And Harrison's going to get an opportunity here with nobody out. Southern California has been dubbed the Cardiac Kids. They do not panic when they're trailing, and they've got the luxury now of being out in front by a big number here in the third inning. Grant Hayes home run, by the way. The two-run shot was on the first pitch. Very aggressive. Harrison's ready to go with the bases cleared. Lefty against lefty. And ball one. Harrison, a very patient hitter, and he does a good job here looking at a couple. His highlight this season, a 13-pitch at bat against the best pitcher in their league in Southern California. And 3-0 the count now. He'll make pitchers work out there. Ball. And he's on, four pitches and a walk. And another pinch hitter coming up. This is Dom Golia. The dominator. Hit three home runs during their all-star season. Plenty of pop in the bat. There's a strike. Christiansen. Golia has dreams of being a major league player or residential real estate. Some good real estate in Southern California. Just off the plate with that one, two and one. Two runs already across in this inning. Fastball, ground ball, DeWitt at short, flips to second, and they get the force play, the relay not in time. DeWitt to Hunt, and that's out number one as Golia reaches on the fielder's choice. And we're gonna have our third consecutive Pinch hitter Elias Emerson gets the call. Strike one. Emerson's uncle played for the Kansas City Royals, Ken Harvey, four years with KC. There's a wild pitch. Golia ends up at second base with one away. Elias also plays basketball. 
And he's a big fan of Shohei Otani. So many of these kids Go mentioning Otani, and you just have to marvel at his abilities. There's a bouncing ball hit to second. Hunt throws out Emerson, two down. Golia advances to third base. Middle infield doing a nice job for Utah. Now Isaac Mora, a chance to drive in a run. Grounded out to the shortstop, first time up there in the second inning. I love the fact that Isaac mentioned his special talent as mixing together a bacon egg and cheese sandwich. That is a special talent. I mean, a lot goes into that sandwich. Can't just throw it together. Take some preparation. Off-speed pitch, ground ball. DeWitt, long throw from short. That's not in time. That's going to score a run. Golia comes in, and it's 7-0. An RBI for Mora. That hit deep in the hole, it's short, past the diving third baseman. Hunt over there, and DeWitt's throw, not in time. Now the top of the order, Xavier Navarro. Seven runs on eight hits. Three run third inning here for the Torrance Little Leaguers. There's the strike, two and one. Three and one. Torrance Little Leaguers have made it no secret. They love to hit the long ball. This is one of the guys that is more of a singles hitter, but very, very productive as their leadoff man. But uh, throughout their lineup, they've got guys that have plenty of power. Here's a strike, full count. Bounced up there, ball four. And Navarro's aboard, making a big turn, is the runner. And in there safely is Golia. Now he's going to score. Or Mora. Mora comes in to score, and it's now 8 0. Navarro takes the extra base. He ends up at second after the walk, and aggressive base running from the Torrance Little Leaguers. Now here come the power guys, Gibson Turner, he has doubled twice. Double to right and a double to left. Drives that one to right center field, and it's caught. Flagged down by Dixon to end the inning. Gibson has, Gibson Turner has hit it hard all three times up there. Four runs across. Grant Hayes, his second two-run homer, as these guys that love to hit the dingers continue to do it. Comfortable 8-0 lead here in San Bernardino. West Region elimination game, and a great start for the Torrance Little Leaguers. the semifinals on Friday at noon on ESPN. New pitcher for Southern California is Grant Hayes. He takes over for Miyake with the eight-run cushion. And the 
first pitch is delivered to Tate and Plew and foul back. Miyake goes a couple innings, striking out three. Hayes fresh off of that big two-run homer goes to work with the 0-1. He's one of those guys that likes to visualize pregame to know what to do out there. It's obviously worked with his bat so far. Blue started the game as a pitcher, now playing left field. Here's the 2 1 offering. Big cut, 2 and 2. He didn't cheat himself up there with that swing. Couple four run innings for the Torrance Little Leaguers. And there's a strikeout. Good start for Grant Hayes. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. Now the top of the lineup, Ryan DeWitt. DeWitt grounded out to the third baseman first time up, fouls that one off. The motto for Southern California, just win, baby. It's simple, and it's simple for Utah. There's his compete. Two ones a strike on the outside edge, two and two. Boy, Hayes has really been effective in the field as well as with the bat. He's played some third base in this regional. Misses with that one, full count. They've also played him at first base this season. One hopper, second baseman. Mora in time, two down. Almost got caught on the in-between hop there. Mora did a good job waiting on that one and getting his feet set. That'll bring up Dagan Soderquist, who walked his first time up. Favorite movie, Sandlot. Excellent, excellent choice going with Sandlot as his movie. And he has dreams of playing for the Padres. Big fan of Fernando Tatis Jr. We've seen his name mentioned a bunch here by the kids on their questionnaires. If they answered for us to give us some insight about what they think about baseball. Went after that one, one and two. He's trying to make it a one, two, three inning. Fastball and he strikes out Soderquist. Couple Ks in the inning, an efficient and effective inning for Grant Hayes. Still an eight nothing lead for Southern California as we go to the fourth. Season on the line for these two, an elimination game. It'll be Skyler Vinson leading things off against Hunt.
There's the fastball for strike one. The winner will move on to action on Friday in the semifinals against the Northern California Hawaii loser, noon on ESPN. Championship game Saturday. Two teams will head to Williamsport, PA out of this West region. Young and old here, supporting the Little Leaguers. Driven to center. That's going to drop. Base hit for Vincent to lead off this fourth inning. Vincent reaching for the second time. Perfectly placed. Well, Texas Leaguer drops right in there. And here's Andrew Naruki. He's had a big game so far. Doubled to right and scored, then an infield single and scored in the third inning. Maruki looks at a strike. Andrew has been a catcher this season. That's where he's playing right now. He's also played center field for the Torrance Little Leaguers. Ground ball hit to the second baseman, Hunt. Flips to the shortstop to wait for one on to first. Not in time. Good job turning it up the middle, though, to get the force play. Naruki reaching on the fielder's choice. Hunt and DeWitt have been good in this one. A little shovel there to get number one. They can't get the second out. Did a nice job getting, getting his body out of the way of the base runner there to deliver that ball to first base. Here's Grant Hayes. Well, can he do it again? He has a couple two-run homers. And there's a runner out there right now. And he's going to settle for a base hit to center field. Hayes is three for three. A two-run homer and a couple singles. He's driven in three in this one. Pass the diving DeWitt. And Hayes is on his game at the right time. And postseason play. There's grab ball off the bat of Harrison. Throw to first and he's retired. Hunt to Campbell to get Kaishu Harrison. That's the second out. The runners move up to second and third. Um, Ten hits now for the Torrance Little Leaguers. Javier Chavez, their manager. Let's go, SoCal! This is going to be Dom Golia getting another opportunity to hit here, and he can bring in a couple with a single. Naruki at third, Hayes at second with two down. Bouncing ball to Hunt at the second base position, throws to first in time to end the inning. Ground ball out. It remains 8-0, Southern California in control. Campbell also plays basketball and golf. 
2 0 now. Utah has had two base runners via the walk in this one. Fastball for a strike, two and one. Hayes falls behind, three balls and a strike. Strike called. Payoff pitch. Ground ball to short. Turner bobbles it. Can't make a play. An air on Gibson Turner and Campbell's aboard. The third base runner. The Washington Little Leaguers from Utah. Raiden Hunt looks at ball one. Hunt, a big fan of Luke Bryan and his country music. Fan of the Colorado Rockies as well. They have used him at third base, left field, pitching, and at second base this season. He's done a nice job fielding his position at second today. Strike on the corner. Again, Northern California and Hawaii are unbeaten here in West Region play. Into the semifinals. Two of the six teams invited here will head to the Little League World Series as Hunt pulls that one foul down the left field line. Bounced up there and gets away from the catcher into the backstop. Campbell's going to round second, headed for third. The throw, not in time. The wild pitch, and then he takes the extra base. Opportunistic on the base pass, and Porter's now at third base. Rook and finding the baseball, finally located it near the backstop. Good throw, but too late. And now Hunt lifts it down the right field line, and it's caught by Navarro. Throw home after the tag. Safe at home plate. Campbell tags up and scores. And Utah's on the board for the first time. It's 8-1. to one. Hunt gets the RBI. This is a great play by Navarro. The glove it. Wheels and deals home. But Naruki's tag, not in time. Campbell getting him on the board. Utah has their first run here at the West Region. They were blanked by Hawaii in their first game. And now a pinch hitter, Oliver Sterner, getting an opportunity. Off the glove of the pitcher, Moore of the second baseman with a throw on the run, a beauty. Got him. That was not an easy play for Moore, a moving towards the bag at second. And he delivers a strike for out number two. And it'll actually go one, four, three on the put out as it deflected off the glove of the pitcher, Hayes. And that'll bring up Trevin King in as a pinch hitter. Yeah. 
King's favorite song, if he had a walk-up song, it'd be Crazy Train by Ozzy. If he wins the lottery, he'd buy a Lamborghini. A lot of the kids on this Utah roster are golfers. A lot of good courses down there. Southern Utah, they take advantage of it. Off speed pitch, and he got a piece of that one. He's ahead on the count, one and two, and they're taking a look here to see if this was catcher's interference on Naruki, a challenge from Utah and their manager, J.P. DeWitt. They called it a foul at the plate. Was there catcher's interference on the hitter, Trevin King? Here it is. Did look like he, the bat hit the glove there. Just nicked it maybe. That's enough though to change the trajectory of that swing. Very close. So as it stands now, the count one and two. It would have been a, a the foul ball was the call, but they're going to take a look to see if it was indeed catcher's interference on Naruki. Braden Hunt. Number eight hitter in the order, fouls that off. Southern California has a hit in every inning so far. Emerson takes a strike. Drives it down the right field line. Bundy makes the catch. Crew Bundy working towards the line with the beauty out over there. And the smile from number three as well. He had to run a long way for this one. And you, you love the fact that he caught the ball and then secured it, bringing that right hand over. Isaac Mora fouls off the first offering. Bundy had just entered as the right fielder. They also now have Plew at third base, King at second with Hunt on the mound. Right back to the pitcher, knocked down by Hunt, stays with it, and he throws out Mora, two down. Good defense here from the Washington Little Leaguers. Didn't field it cleanly, but did a great job just getting the mid up there, keeping the ball close to him. Now Xavier Navarro. Torrance Little Leaguers have had two intense games, a 1-0 loss to Arizona, and then a nine-inning, 8-6 win over Nevada to get to this point. On cruise control right now, trying to add to their advantage. Two and two. Hunt's offering. Foul at the plate. The 
Pitch to X, swung on, liner into the glove of the shortstop King. That'll end the inning. Excellent defense from Utah. A 1-2-3 frame. And we head to the bottom game right here. An 8-1 lead for Southern California over Utah. A couple four-run innings for the kids from Torrance. And a new pitcher on the mound. It's Brandon Perez for Southern California. Their third pitcher after Miyaki and Hayes were out there on the mound. Good off-speed pitch to Crew Bundy, and he swings and misses. Bundy batting for the first time. He came in as the right fielder and made a good defensive play. First time out there. Bundy, a big fan of the Utah Jazz. Perez offering is fouled off. Also likes the Padres. Played some catcher this year. He says that was a highlight of his season, getting behind the dish. Looks to strike three. Nice pitch from Perez, one away. Paints the corner with that one right at the knees. Now Kaysen Dixon. Kaysen struck out his first time up there. Nickname, <laughs> one of the best here in the regional. Queso Cheese Dip. Sounds pretty good. He was part of a triple play. That was his highlight this season. First and second were occupied. He caught a liner, stepped on second, and threw it to first. It's a great moment for a little eager. It's a great moment for any player. <laughs> a triple play, and he has a good at bat. He's on. Draws the walk here with one out. Washington Little Leaguers do get on the board with that run in the fourth. Now trying to put something together in the fifth. And here's Tate and Plue. Plue looks at a strike. Plue bats left throws right, and I don't know why this guy came to mind, but Carl Yastrzemski, if you go way back, Yaz was that way. Speaking of good ball players. Time called. First base umpire Greg Kaufman had a word for the dugout, we're squared away. That pitch behind the hitter. Dixon staying put at first base. That's inside, and it gets away from Naruki. Dixon down to second base now with one away. Now the runner's going to get sent back to first here. He left early, left too early. You have to leave once the ball leaves the hand of the pitcher. And has to retreat to first base now. Harder to see a right-handed pitcher when the ball leaves the hand versus a lefty from first base. There's a single to center for Plue. Throw to second. Safe. Vincent tried to get the force play with a throw from center. 
But Plew with a single, and Utah has something going here in the fifth inning. Close play, but Dixon beating it with a slide into the bag. Now Ryan DeWitt, the top of the order. DeWitt has grounded out a couple times, once to third, once to second. Hits it hard to right field. That's going to drop. Throw to second. Not in time. Bases are loaded. A walk and back-to-back -back singles for Utah. And all of a sudden, they've got a chance to get back into this game here. Only one out in the inning. Good piece of hitting by Ryan DeWitt. Blue beating the play at second base, and now Dagan Soderquist. And the good news, if you're a fan of this Washington Little League team, this is the heart of their order coming up. Number two hitter. Soderquist has a home run this season, his first as a Little Leaguer. Perez trying to work out of this jam here with one down. Ground ball hit to second. Mora flips to short for one. Turner on to first. Double play. The 4 6 3 double play gets them out of the inning. Perez got what he wanted. And a bases loaded opportunity, but nothing across for Utah. Soderquist hits into the double play ball. Still an 8 1 game. In the semifinal, the Northern California Hawaii loser will meet the winner of this game Friday at noon on ESPN. Season on the line for Southern California and Utah. We move into the sixth inning. And it's Gibson Turner leading things off against Raiden Hunt. Double play ball getting Southern California out of the top or the uh, bottom half of the fifth inning, and there's a laser into right field, a base hit for Turner. Turner is three for four, two doubles and a single. Come on, Sky! Go now! Let's go, Sky! That's five hits in West Region play for number 19. Skyler Vincent now. Reached a couple times, once by air, once on a single. Pops that one up, that's playable, and foul ground the catcher. Soderquist makes the play. Good job by Dagan Soderquist here. Got the mask off right away. Located it. To get the first out of the inning. Andrew Naruki, first pitch, swinging, base hit right field. Turner's going to hold up at second. Couple runners on now for the Torrance Little Leaguers. Naruki has three hits. Yo, Grant, get your money, kid. Yo, I need someone to coach. I don't want to get hit. And that is a dozen hits now for Southern California after getting shut out by Arizona in the first game. Their bats have come alive the last two games. And look who's up. Grant Hayes, three for three. Turner, three hits today. Hayes, three hits today. Hits that one off of the pitcher. Hunt throws to first and retires Hayes. Runners move up to second and third.
for Southern California, number 27, Brandon Perez. Brandon Perez now with runners in scoring position and two away. Both of these teams, state champions. Utah had to rally to win theirs. Down to the final strike. A lot to celebrate. Southern California. So the uh, Torrance Little Leaguers really bonded after a hard-fought win in sectional play in their championship game there, and then they rallied in state championship play as well. They had to come from behind against the team they played yesterday, Nevada. They've led all the way in this one. Three one is fouled at the plate by Perez. It'll be the middle of the order for Utah as we look ahead to the bottom half of the six innings. Sixth inning, a six innings regulation here. Perez lifts that one foul and out of play. Their three, four, and five hitters scheduled up with the season on the line. Of that one to stay alive. Torrance Little League, Southern California state champions for the first time, and now trying to move closer to a Little League World Series appearance. There's Perez looking at ball four. He's on, and the bases are loaded. That brings up Christian Chavez. Chance of Chavi, Chavi as he stands in there with the bases full. Full. Strike called, fastball. From Raiden Hunt. Gets another strike, catches the corner with that one. Hunt trying to get out of this bases loaded jam, get his team's bats to the plate, and he does, striking out Chavez to end the inning. 8-1 game, we go to the bottom of the six. Could be the last chance for Utah here in this West Region elimination game. Manager with thoughts with the season on the line here in San Bernardino. Go, oh, dude, good spot in the lineup, let's go. Hits, one, two, three. Hits! State champions, a lot to celebrate. They lost to Hawaii, a really good team in the first game here. Trailing in this one, eight to one. And they're gonna be facing a new pitcher. JP DeWitt also coaches the Pine View High School baseball team in that area of the country, Southern Utah. It's gonna be Kaishu Harrison getting the call. Taking over for Perez. The left-hander will try to close the door here and get the Torrance Little Leaguers into the semifinals to face the Northern California Hawaii loser on Friday noon on ESPN. And you get the victory here. You're one win away from the Little League World Series in Williamsport. Two teams advancing from the West Region here in San Bernardino. Harrison, a left-hander, big Dodgers fan. will face the three, four, and five hitters. It'll be Porter Campbell leading things off, the first baseman. 
for the Washington Little Leaguers from Utah. Harrison's first offering inside ball one. Southern California has out hit Utah 12 to two in this one. Two big innings, a four run first and a four run third. Utah able to scratch across the run in the bottom half of the fourth. Fastball popped up. Shortstop Turner calling for it on the outfield grass. He's got it, one down. Defense help. First state title for the Torrance Little Leaguers. Now trying to get a spot in the West Region semifinals. Here's Raiden Hunt, the second baseman. Swing and a miss. Put something off that one. Hunt has the RBI for Utah. There's that off-speed pitch again, effective as Harrison has him fooled so far. One and two. Southpaw's delivery. Change of pace pitch. Did he offer on it? He did not. Two and two. They're going to check with the first base umpire down there, and Greg Coffin says, no, he did not. Two two fastball, lined up the middle, and a single to center for Raiden Hunt. Utah has a base runner. The Little League Baseball World Series on ESPN, presented by T-Mobile. Williamsport, PA, right around the corner. First, the West Region needs to be settled. Four teams remaining right now, Northern California and Hawaii. Playing in the semifinals. The winner of this one will face one of those two teams Friday on ESPN. Here's Sterner at the plate, pops it up, foul ground, and it's caught. Naruki, and they're one out away. Oliver Sterner retired, and a great play by the catcher. Basket catch near the dugout. It bounces past the catcher, and moving up to second base is Raiden Hunt. Trevin King at the plate for Utah. Down to their final out. Oh. Harrison upstairs with that one. Three and zero now. Southern California lost to Arizona one nothing in their first game. They bounced back with an eight to six nine inning victory over Nevada yesterday. Now trying to get to the semifinals. There's a strike, three and one. <laughs> Driven to center. Vincent's got it, and Southern California wins. Eight to one. The Torrance Little Leaguers advance. Congratulations to the Washington Little Leaguers from Utah. Great season. It comes to an end.